Hey guys, it's vegan nutritionist and personal trainer Paul from Hench Herbivore. I'm super excited to have you with me today. I'm going to show you how to cook three extremely delicious fat loss meals that work a treat. And we're going to have uh, feijoada, which is a Brazilian uh, black bean stew. It's super delicious. I love this one so much. We're going to do a tasty Mediterranean couscous salad. And we're also going to do a butter bean, sweet potato and tortilla soup. On to the first meal. For this recipe, you'll need a can of black beans, 150 grams of butternut squash, an onion, a big bunch of greens, I use kale, two tablespoons of lime, two or three cloves of garlic, a bay leaf, two tablespoons of chopped coriander, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, salt and pepper to taste, and then grain of your choice, I used brown rice, titrate the amount of grains relative to your caloric needs. Put your grain on to cook. Chop the vegetables. Steam fry the garlic and onions until the onions are translucent. Add the black beans, greens, bay leaf, squash, paprika, and one cup of water and bring to the boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to medium low, cover, and simmer for about 15 minutes. Add the lime juice and coriander to the pot, stir through, and remove from the heat. For the Mediterranean couscous salad, you will need couscous. The amount that you need will vary based on your caloric requirements. One can of chickpeas, good amount of leafy greens, a handful of basil. Optional is broccoli sprouts, a handful of olives. And then you need some salad vegetables. I went for cucumber, onion, heirloom tomatoes, a little bit of peppers. You can use a lot more. I'm on a, I'm not on a cut at the minute, so I'm not using a lot of volume of vegetables. Uh, six sun-dried tomatoes, one and a half tablespoons of tahini, salt and pepper to taste, one garlic clove, the juice of half a lemon, and vegetable stock. We favor these nine meals from Anarchy. One's uh, just real helpful. Make enough vegetable stock to just cover the couscous and then set aside. Rehydrate your sun-dried tomatoes with some hot water. We go for oil-free so they're not so caloric. Chop all the vegetables. Drain the sun-dried tomatoes, chop those and add them into a bowl with the rest of the salad. To make the dressing, combine the tahini with the lemon juice, add the clove of garlic minced, add the salt and pepper. Because we were scraping the bottom of the barrel with the tahini, it had gotten really hard, so we added in a little extra water just to make it runny enough. Add the couscous, chickpeas and chopped salad to a bowl and mix well. I serve with the salad leaves on the side and I drizzled the dressing on top of the leaves. You can do it how you like. And now for the butter beans, sweet potato and tortilla soup, you'll need butter beans, ovs, tortillas, how many you need will depend on your caloric requirements, 150 grams of sweet potato, half a red pepper, a tomato, half an onion, a small handful of mushrooms, 50 grams of sweet corn, however much chili you enjoy, two or three cloves of garlic, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of chopped coriander, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and salt and pepper to taste. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Roast the pepper skin side up for 30 to 35 minutes. Chop all the vegetables into one centimeter cubes. Add the herbs and spices and all the vegetables, save for the sweet corn, to a pot. Add in 400 mils of water, cover, bring to the boil, and then simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Cut the tortillas into small strips and then add to a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Oh yeah, I should have told you not to turn the oven off. Hopefully it's still on 200 degrees. You want to pop your tortillas in the oven for six to seven minutes, stirring regularly to avoid burning. Take the contents of your pot and pop them into a blender. Now you want to blend on low speed. Warning! If you put a top on and it's like airtight, because of the heat, the pressure will build up and it'll explode and go over there. So you could wait for it to cool down. Alternatively, with my one, I just take out the central part of the lid, which comes away, uh, and then I just put a tea towel over top of that. 
add the contents of the blender back into the pot along with all the other ingredients. Heat through and you're ready to serve. I've really enjoyed working on these recipes. They're all super delicious. I hope you're gonna try them out. Comment below if you want me to do a similar video on breakfasts and dinners. But for now, click this.